Hello everyone, this is Adel Ben Ludmi from Ozen Engineering. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import NHFSS 3D layout design as a component into HFSS 3D environment. This is a beta feature in the new ANSYS release, the 23R1. So the first thing to do, go to Tools, Options, General Options, the General Options tab, Open Beta Options, scroll down, and select Layout Component in HFSS 3D. Say OK, OK. Now you'll be asked to restart the application. Say yes. Now let's take a look at this uh, very simple example where we have a printed circuit board in HFSS 3D layout and we want to place some uh, SMA connectors on it. Before we export this design as a layout component, we need to create some coordinate systems to help place the SMA connectors. And to do that, go to Draw, Coordinate System, Create. Let's place the first coordinate system here. In the Components window, Expand Coordinate System, select CS1. Here you can edit the coordinate system. You can change the color and lock position. If you don't see uh, the uh, components window, you can go here in view and check components. Now let's do the same thing for the second SMA connector. Draw, coordinate system, create. This time we place it right here. Uh, we'll change the angle to 90 degrees since we're going to place it here and lock position. Now that we created the uh, coordinate systems, we can go ahead and export our layout component. And to do that, go to Layout, Export, Layout Component, choose a name and a directory, say Save. Click OK, and now our layout component is ready to be used in the HFSS 3D environment. Before we combine the PCB and the SMA connectors, let's take a look at this uh, SMA connector here. And um, as you can see, uh, this SMA connector has a global coordinate system, which is um, located uh, at the bottom of this uh, pin. So when we import the SMA connectors and the layout component, uh, the uh, coordinate systems of the layout component will be used as reference for the SMA connectors. To create a 3D component in HOSS 3D, select the SMA connector, right click on it, select create 3D component, say OK, choose a name and uh, directory, then save. Now that we're all set, uh, let's open the main project and uh, right-click on 3D Components, Create Layout Component. Uh, here we can import the uh, layout component that we uh, exported from HFSS 3D Layout. So let's select it and click Open. Next, here uh, we can see the coordinate systems uh, that we created and we can see that they are uh, included. Let's say next, finish. Uh, again, right click on 3D components, browse 3D component, and here we have the 3D component that we created, which is the SMA connector. Let's select it, say open. This window we can choose the target uh, coordinate system, so let's uh, choose CS1 for the first SMA connector. As you can see, the connector is placed uh, directly uh, in the right position. Uh, again, uh, let's uh, place the second SMA connector. This time we'll choose CS2, click OK. And again, the SMA connector is placed in the right place. Here, I should mention that uh, uh, we can use HFSS uh, Mesh Fusion 
so here we can mesh independently the PCB and the uh, the components. And uh, to do that, uh, right click on 3D components, set components for um, mesh fusion, and uh, enable them right here. Apply and OK. Uh, also in this uh, in this new release, the um, the iterative solver uh, is supported for mesh fusion. So in this video, we saw how a 3D layout component can be used in the HFSS 3D environment, and that the model can also include regular 3D components and use the iterative solver with mesh fusion. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.